Hi, Adrielle. This is Mrs. Murphy. I'm making you this video to try and show you how to draw a honeycomb pattern because it looks like that's what you want it to do for your project. A honeycomb pattern is made up of this geometric shape called a hexagon, meaning it has six sides. It's really, really hard to draw one. I even struggle with it. And I found that the best way to do it was to practice on a regular sheet of notebook paper. So if you have a piece of notebook paper, you want to hold it sideways so that you get this red line here and you have these uh, vertical lines going down and you're going to start making your hexagon shapes. Um, actually, you're not going to make hexagon shapes, shapes. You're going to make zigzags and you're going to make zigzags that go down two spaces. So I have two spaces in between where I'm beginning and where I'm headed down at a diagonal. And then I'm going to take two more spaces to go back up to that red line. Just like that. And I'm going to go across the page making a zigzag that goes two spaces for each angle. Zig, zag. Two spaces, two spaces. Even if you have to cheat a little bit and give yourself like a little dot, so you can count the spaces ahead of time. It makes it easier to draw that way. And I'm trying to keep them as consistent as possible. I only go down a little bit. I don't want to make a zigzag that is kind of all over the place. I want to keep it nice and even. Okay, so after I'm done with that, now I'm going to skip down a space probably about as wide as my thumb and in there's little peaks and valleys there's little tops of my zigzags and there's like the inside valleys of my zigzags i'm going to measure down from the inside of this angle my little valley right here uh, about a thumb down and put a little guide dot so i'm looking for the valley and I'm putting a dot below. Okay, and that's going to kind of help me figure out how to do my next set of zigzags. I'm going to do that for all of them. I'm going to take my little valley about a thumb below. I want to make sure that these, these dots are about even. Here goes another one. Another one. Another one. All right, so I zigzagged up here. For my bottom line, I'm going to zag zig. I'm going to do the opposite. If I went up, I'm going to go down. But I'm still going to make this zigzag in two spaces. So if I started here, I'm going to go angle up. And then two spaces down. Up. Down. Two spaces I'm doing myself. Okay, so see that it's opposite. Okay, so all I have left to do now is to connect these points. I'm only going to connect the ones that are closer together, these ones that are further away. That's my hexagon that I'm forming. Watch. Boom, there's my hexagon right there. Okay, okay. I lost my camera. Okay, there we go. So after I have my first row to continue this pattern, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to my first valley. I'm looking at this zigzag right now. My first valley is right here. I'm going to measure down about a thumb's width and put my guide point. My next one, guide point. See, I'm using these straight lines to help keep everything nice and straight. That's why I'm using this lined paper. All right, and then when I have that, I'm going to go back. I'm going to do my zigzags, the opposite, like, from what I just did. Two spaces down, two spaces up, down, up. The more consistent and even you try and draw this, the better it's going to be. And then you're connecting these points that are closest together. See how it's opposite of the first row of honeycombs. They kind of fit right in to each other. 
They're staggered. All right, and once you have this figured out, you can go and you can use this to fill in your whole paper. Um, if you need to pause this video, replay it, check it out. It's yours to look at and try and learn something from. Good luck. I really like your idea. I think this is pretty cool. I hope you have some fun with this. Bye, Adriel.